if you want to give your YouTube gaming videos a professional touch that keeps viewers coming back for more then this tutorial will show you how by creating an eye catching outro that you only have to make once but can use again and again at a click of a few buttons for all future videos. Stick around because not only will I walk you through how to make the outro on ShareFactory but we'll show you how to save it as a favourite so it's ready to drop into all your future videos and I'll show you how to upload it from ShareFactory to YouTube and then we'll also actually go into YouTube itself and set up your end screen in YouTube so your viewers will be encouraged to like, subscribe and watch more of your videos. Now this is a step by step guide so you can follow along if you would like to and there are chapters in the description if you want to skip ahead so let's just get started we're going to create the same outro that I've just shown you so starting at the beginning in the share factory studio menu we go to video editor and then down to new project and then we need to choose a creator pack and we're choosing the anime for this example we can get rid of all of these ticks but we do actually want to keep one of them that's going to be the anime intro so I'm going to go on to that and push the X button and then square to start the project and then that's going to take us to the part where we can rename it. I'm going to rename it outro and then continue. And then that gives us just the, the it's opened up the project and it gives us just this intro that it's kind of given us. Now I'm going to use the D pad to change it about frame by frame until it gets to where I want it to go. I'm going right until it's how I want it. That's probably about right. I'm going to push the square button and that gives us these options. And I want to be able to go to pan and zoom. So I'm going to use the um, D pad to move it across to where I want it. And I want to kind of have this white bit in the bottom left hand corner going up at an angle and I'm going to have the rest of it as the blue that it is so I'm just going to keep moving that to about 244 percent okay so I'm happy with that so now I need to take a screenshot of the image so we can use it later so we're going to hold down the share button on the controller and that gives us these options we push the x button to take a screenshot there you go it's taking a screenshot of it and then we push the circle to come out of that Okay, so we have a screenshot ready to use. We just need to find it. So staying where we are, we just push the X button and then we go to add screenshot. So click on add screenshot and then we'll go to all these screenshots that we've got. We just need to scroll down a little bit to find that we've just taken. I've taken a couple, but we only need one of these and we just push the X button to select it and then square to add the screenshot. There you go, it's added to our project. We no longer need this video because that was purely to get the image that we wanted. So we push the square button and then go to delete clip and then confirm. So now we are only left with the screenshot that we had, but we've got all the bits around the outside that we don't want. So we push the square button and go to pan and zoom. And then we can just zoom in purely to get the actual image we want, not all the stuff around the outside. So we move across until we've got it how we want it. Push cross to confirm. And there you go. We've got the whole image as we want it. The length of the clip currently is five seconds long and we want that to be a bit longer so we're going to push the square button and go to trim clip and then push x and that will confirm that and now we can use the sticks on the controller to adjust the length of time i'm going to change it until it gets to 12 seconds and push the x button to confirm it and there you can see it's 12 seconds long now anywhere between 10 and 15 seconds is good for an outro i would say so this is what we're aiming to complete in Share Factory, and then once we've completed this and uploaded it with our video we'll be adding these other bits in YouTube. So it's two separate bits really, this bit in Share Factory and the other bit in YouTube. So let's get on with these arrows and this likes of uh, animation. So we push the cross button and go to add overlay. So this is to start with the like button or the like animation. And we are going to need a few of these because they only last a little bit. So we're going to click on stickers and then go to animated stickers. And then we want to go down to find the add, uh, no, sorry, the like animation. So onto that and then push the X button to select it. And that puts it in place. We push the X button on the duration as well. And then we go X on transform. And now we've pushed the R1 button as many times as you want, but try and use the same amount of times because we want it the same size as future ones we're going to add. Position it where you'll try and remember. I'm going to try and line it up so that I remember where it is in uh, comparison to the white and the blue there. And then push the cross to confirm and they, oh sorry, the X to confirm. And you can see that it plays a little bit, then it leaves. 
So I just want to pause quickly just to clarify this a little bit. We put this animation there um, once and then it will play for four seconds, I think it is, and then it will stop and then it will leave. Okay, once it stops, you've played it and the sticker has disappeared. At that point in the clip, you then push the cross button and start adding the next animated sticker. And then once that's added, you let it play and then you um, as soon as it leaves again you add the next animated sticker just wanted to clarify that little bit because I was just listening to what I was saying it wasn't quite making sense so hopefully that will be clear going forwards now and then we just repeat that process uh, another four times trying to get it the same size each time and then position it in the same place so that in effect we're putting it on so that it's a constant like animation on and off. If we didn't add four more of these, then it'll just be at one animation, then it'll be static for the rest of the outro and I want it to keep on repeating and be in an animation. So by doing five of these, it means that we've got constant animation. But if you don't want to do five of these, then you could just um, put one on, change the duration to the whole of the clip and then that will just be one animation and then it will stay looking uh, with the thumbs up sticker on there, it just won't be animated. So by pressing play now you can see it just goes on and off, on and off and that's how I want it to be. Okay so that's the like animation finished throughout the whole of the clip so now we want to add the sticker so we push the X button, add overlay and then we go to stickers and this time we go into static stickers and we want to choose the arrows we want. I'm going to choose the white arrows and there's two different curved ones. I think I'm going to use two of one of them and uh, one of the other. So we push the X on one of them and then we go to transform and this is where obviously we can move it around and rotate it and, and all that. So if you want to rotate it, you push the L2 and R2. If you want to make it big or smaller, use L1 or L2 on the controller. We're going to point at the like animation and we're going to push the X button and we're going to change the sticker duration to the whole of the clip. So we use the controller sticks to move it all the way across the whole of the clip, push X to confirm and then we want to go to sticker animation and we push X on that and go to beginning animation. I just want it to fade in at the beginning. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna have a, no, I'm not gonna have a middle animation. I'm just gonna keep that at none. I'm just gonna have the beginning as a fade in. So push X on fade in and then that will just fade the arrow into the clip. And yeah, we're gonna do the same for each of the arrows. So once we have done that, then we can push the circle and choose a different arrow. And this one we're gonna position a little bit uh, differently. We're gonna go to transform and we're gonna bring this one down to point to where the subscribe, actually no, let's do this one as this is gonna point to where the videos to watch next are gonna be. Now just a note, and I'll talk about it more in a minute, but if we move this arrow too far to the right, then it will be underneath the videos to watch next that are actually showed on YouTube, and we don't want that. So I'll show you more about that in a second, but we'll change the duration to it anyway, and we'll come back to this one in a second. So we want to put in the third arrow, which will point to the subscribe animation. So we'll, again, we grab another overlay, and we go to transform. We want this white arrow to be rotated. So it's pointing to this white space here because that's where we're gonna put the subscribe animation that people can click on to subscribe to the channel. So we'll point it to that sort of corner and that's where we're gonna put that. And then again, sticker duration all the way from start to finish of the clip. And that will cover that one. So now when we press play, we've got the like animation and then we've got the arrows um, throughout the whole of the clip as well. Okay, we'll just double check that they've all got the fade in and they're all set to the maximum duration. And so that one hasn't got the fade in, so we need to add that. And I think that one is fine. Let's see that one. Oh, we need to do the fade animation for that one as well. So just make sure they're all faded in as we want them and they're all throughout the whole of the clip. So they from start to finish, which is correct. 
Okay, I've had a quick play about because I wanted to show you how to change the arrows so that they didn't get in the way of the videos to watch next when they're on YouTube. So I've just moved it about a little bit and this middle one I've had to move out to the left a little bit and upwards a bit. So what we, the way I checked is I push the cross button and go to add overlay and I go to text and then standard text and then choose this uh, font here. Okay, and then you just choose the letter T and type that in and then confirm that and we want to push the square button to go to edit overlays and to the T and then we're using the D-pad for that to find the T and then you go to transform and we want to make it as big as possible and then we want to rotate it round onto its side and what this is showing is the correct sort of distance that the arrow needs to be away from the edge of the screen so that when it's on YouTube the videos to watch next don't go over the top of the arrow and as long as the T is not touching the side and there's a gap all the way around it generally between between the T and the, the arrow generally that's going to be the right sort of distance away from the video so you might want to move it a little bit closer uh, sorry move the arrow a little bit more away from the T but as a guide that's where you want it to be and then you can delete the T because that's just to work out the distance and then we're good to go for the actual um, video from there. So just to clarify it was just to make sure that this text and arrow wasn't over the top of these two videos here and that's all we'll check in there. Okay next step is to put all the text on the outro so what we want to do is push the cross button and go to add overlay and then choose text and we can choose standard text I'm going to choose anime text and choose this font here and I'm just going to write out the word like and we're going to put this on the top arrow just above it as that is tall that is pointing to the like animation so we want to transform it to make it bigger smaller however we want it once we've got it how we want it and in position we can push the cross button and go to text duration and move it so that it's throughout the whole of the clip so from start to finish and then we want to change the color so we just move down to whichever color I'm going to choose this yellow here confirm text effects I want a black outline you see without the black outline it was there were, it was just yellow but now that it's got the black outline I think that looks neater and now we want to just repeat that for all of the other words we need to put on each of the arrows so the next one we need to put is watch next because they're pointing to the videos that we would like the viewer to watch next so I'm typing out watch next and then we just repeat this again so we go to transform we make that a little bit smaller you could line it up with the other word like I line up the E and the E for example to make it the same sort of size but to be honest it, I don't think it matters too much you can do it by eye um, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller just to fit in that gap a bit neater and this is on the watch next so point into the videos to watch next we go to text duration again all the way throughout the whole clip start to finish we want it on and then text effects we would like the yellow again sorry the color we want it to be yellow again uh, I don't want uh, animation I want the effect so we put the black outline again and confirm and then we do the last word which is subscribe so we put in subscribe and that's going to go just underneath the bottom arrow and again transform move it bigger smaller line it up with the other words if you want to just to get a rough guide move it into place and then push the cross button to confirm and then we want to take change the text duration to the whole of the clip and then we want to go to color and then change it to the color yellow and then the text effects we want the black outline and that is that okay so it's good practice to go over and just check all of the text and arrows and everything and make sure that they're not finishing early or not lined up or anything like that and they look absolutely fine so that's great so now we're ready to export it so we push the um, options button on the controller and then you could go into export settings to check what uh, the settings level you want are or you can just go straight to export to gallery and what's that that's going to do is just export it out of the project and you can choose to share or share later we chose share later and then we just save the clip and left from there so the exported outro clip has gone to my gallery so we can go along there and have a little look 
and there you go you can see in most recent there it is now we can add it to a video in a minute but we want to be able to add it to future videos because we put a lot of time into this so what you can do is push options on the outro and go to set favorite and put the press x on that and that will save it as favorites so there's this heart that's in the bottom left hand corner so that shows it's saved as a favorite so just to check as well we can go to buy category and click on favorites and there you go you can see the outro sat there with the heart and that is saved in the favorites and as time goes on and you add other favorites it might go down the list a little bit but it's at the moment it's at the top okay so now let's show you how to add the outro from favorites into a new project so we go to new project choose whichever creator pack we want to use and then we can get rid of all these ticks because we don't need them we're going to go straight into a gameplay and i'm going to go down to buy game and then choose fortnite and then choose whichever gameplay we want to use so i'm just going to choose a random one this one here push the cross button to select it and then square button to choose it and then we can just change the name i'm just going to put the name of the project as test and then there you go this is our video clip imagine we've done all the changes we want to make the video is how we want it we can push the cross button and go to add clip and then go back down to by category click on favorites and then there we go there's our outro so we push the x button on the outro and square to add the clip and there you go the outro is added to the end of our project now it does jump quite quickly between the actual gameplay clip and the outro so if you wanted to you could push the cross button and go to add transition and then go to dissolves so you can choose any one you want but i'm going to choose dissolves and go to cross fade it does say that it's going to add in the transition will change the length of the clip that's fine and there you go it's a nice smooth transition from the gameplay to the outro Okay, so assuming you've checked your project and you're happy with it all, you could just push the triangle button and that will start exporting the clip. And then it gives you the option of share or share later. Now we want to upload it to YouTube, so we're gonna click on share. And then we can just click on YouTube. And then what we do is go down to the bottom here and we just click on privacy settings and go to private. And that'll keep it private so it's not actually live on YouTube. And then we click on upload and that's going to start uploading it to youtube now it may take a little while but we can get out of share factory we don't need that just save the project and leave there and then what we want to do from there is go to youtube so on youtube you want to click on your youtube studio and then on the left hand side you want to click on the bit where it says content and when the video has been uploaded to your uh, youtube channel it will be on that there and then you just click on it and then we've got all these different things obviously we need to complete but i'll show you the bit that's relevant to this video which is going to the end screen and this is where we just set up the end screen as we've talked about so we can click on there there's a timeline along the bottom and we want to obviously line up the end screen for when it finishes or when it lines up with our outro so if we play the video until it gets in line with where our outro starts we know that that's where we want everything to begin you can choose all of these different settings here i'm just going to choose that one and then what that will do is that will give us the subscribe animation and it will also give us the two videos to watch next so what you can drag do is drag the videos so that they match the beginning of your outro down the bottom here so that it lines up all beautifully so these videos and the subscribe animation will start when the outro starts because we've moved that and dragged it across you can then move the videos into position like i'm doing now and move the subscribe animation into the corner and then you can see the arrows are now pointing to all the relevant pieces from there okay we can also change what the videos are shown so either the best for viewer as it is now or most recently uploaded you can also change the elements so you can add in a playlist if you wanted to or a specific video so you play about with the buttons see what you think and take it from there what i would say is always try and push the play button just to make sure it all looks absolutely fine and you can see what it's, your viewers are going to see when you play it through. When it gets to the end, just go to the top right hand corner and push save. And then back on the main screen for your video, go to visibility. And when you're ready to upload it, just change that to public and it will upload it and it will be live on your channel. And then it will look something like this. And this is what your viewers will see. So I hope that's been of use. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And on screen now are the videos to watch next. Thanks very much for watching and bye.